The issue with Kate is an experiment to see how much you will take and how much you will believe and how much reality you will suspend and how many lies you will tolerate out of fear that you'll be called a conspiracy theorist. You're asked to suspend any and all common sense regarding Kate. Now look, let me just explain this to you. And I think you agree. I don't give a damn about Kate, Middleton, the Windsors, any of those people. It's not about the Windsors. I don't wish her harm. I just don't give a rat's ass about any of these inbred homozygotes, okay? That's not what I'm talking about. What bothers me is when somebody lies to me and somebody en enlists this dutiful, mindless, sock puppet media to run interference. To say that the conspiracy theory trolls are out. Now let me explain something to you. I'm, I'm, I, I think I know what I'm talking about. I'm a lawyer, I'm a, a prosecutor. I've been in, in show business and done a lot of things. I've seen dead bodies. I've dealt with forensic stuff. I've, I, I know, you know, crime and the person who is walking in this sun picture is not Kate Middleton. Now, the picture of somebody turning their face, supposedly in the back of the car, that's traveling where the bricks don't match. I don't know who that is. Could be Kate. Could be uh, Roseanne Barr for I got. Could be anybody. I don't know. There's no picture there. There's no face. There's no shape. There's no nothing. But let me tell you something. And I think you need to understand something. The woman who was walking, I don't know when that was taken. I don't know who that is. I don't think that's supposed to be some, some double body double, I think it's just somebody else. I think it's somebody else. This grainy photo. Think about this. This woman is in an APB, an international be on the lookout, a bolo as we call it, for Kate Middleton. Everybody's wondering, is she alive? Is she dead? Is she in a coma? Is she, did she, did she have botched uh, face surgery or something? Is she intubated somewhere? Is she pissed off at Wills because of affairs? Who knows? Okay? But everybody's looking at her, or for her. Everybody. And they want you to believe, you ready for this, that all of a sudden, there she is, right in front of you. There she is, walking with him, with no security contingent around them. The future queen of England, by herself, who happens to run out to get some blueberries with Billy, and all of a sudden she's perambulating and locomoting about, and not one person, not one person takes a picture. Not one person pulls out a camera. Not one person has, you don't, you, you don't see this, this, this crush, this throng of, of uh, folks around her, and they want you to believe this. Are you kidding me? You've got to be kidding. Seriously, you've, you've, you've got to be kidding. Look at me. Do you think I'm stupid? If you do, tell me. If you think I'm crazy, if you think I'm gullible, if you think, or, or, or if you just don't care. It's probably more about that. You probably just don't care. You probably just hate us. Maybe you just, this is a part of some shadow government ruling class experiment. You know, like the hundredth monkey or some cognitive dissonance, weird, you know, Occam's razor. What? I, I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe it's some MI6 investigation, a test to see what people will tolerate, what people will listen to, what people will actually go along with. It insults our intelligence more than anything else. 
And whenever they don't know what to tell you, this same group of people, like the Piers Morgan folks, these these hackneyed hacks, these antediluvian, implicit, atesticular, invertebrate geldings, these spineless, spineless, gutless, scaredy cat, these these dupes, these servants who will do whatever they have to, what, what, whatever it takes, they will just do what they're told because they recognize that the entire lattice work, the foundation of what we used to call social uh, uh, heritage media, legacy media, it's done. It's finished. I mean, it's through. And you see, there are these experiments every now and then. They look at you and they show you something and they ask you to watch this. And when you say, wait a minute, that doesn't seem to make sense. Let me give you an example. Geoengineering. Geoengineering is important because geoengineering is basically, if you look up, you can see this. This is some type of aerosolized spray some type of a, a gas or think sky riding. You've seen sky riding, right? The stuff, they, the smoke, the chemicals, the whatever it is that they, that they emit. You've seen this. I'm sure you've seen this. I know you've seen this, right? Of course. And you've seen what these trails look like. You've seen what this looks like. You've, you, you know all about it because you've lived your life. You're not an idiot. You're not a fool. But what they told you is, no, 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 those are condensation trails. Those are, that's water vapor. Water vapor that leaves white streaks across the sky in latticework uh, octothorpe configurations. And then at the same time, concomitantly, people like Bill Gates and Harvard and other universities of note will put out information regarding something called what? something called geoengineering. And with geoengineering, it's exactly that. Dimming, solar radiation management, carbon dioxide removal. Now they could have they could have said you've got the wrong name. You're calling it chemtrails. We don't call it that. We call it geoengineering. You're right about that. No, they don't do that. Because they're told Make sure they crush you. You're part of the tinfoil hat group. Even though what's happening is exactly what you've said it was, they call it something else. In fact, if you go and look online under geoengineering, there it is. Now, nobody wants to bring this up, and I'm not bringing it up because, frankly, nobody wants to hear this. Nobody's interested in this, and nobody cares. But let me give you an example. On Tuesday, September the 11th, 2001, I was in New York, as was my wife. And we were here from that moment throughout. And on that day, we saw three structures appear to fall in what looks like almost free fall speed, okay? That's all I am saying. They were like this, North Tower, South Tower, and then later on in the afternoon, around 5.20 p.m., Building 7, splat. Okay. Again, without going anything into causation, without going into anything as to what that could be or what might cause that, other than the official narrative, I'm making it very clear. What was interesting to note is that when people said, you know what that looks like? That looks like when they implode these buildings in Vegas or when you've seen something. What they would say is, first of all, you don't know what you're talking about. You're not a demolitions expert. You know nothing about structural engineering. You know nothing about aviation or disasters. You don't know anything. Just like you don't know anything about solar radiation management, aeronautics, con condensation trails. You don't know anything. You don't know anything. You're just a lay person and your common sense and your observations mean nothing. And if you keep this up, if you say, that looks interesting, I'd like to perhaps maybe find out more about this. No, 
You're shut down, shut up, and shut off because you're a conspiracy theorist. And that's the that's what you've been you've thought about during COVID. If you say, well, do do masks work? Does this six foot distance uh, matter? Are these boosters safe? Do I have a constitutional right to ever refuse a, 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 a vaccine? Uh, is Jacobson against Mass Massachusetts still good law? Shut up. You're an anti-vaxxer. You don't trust the science. And if you keep it up, if you ask any questions, if you make any observations, because you're not a physician, you're not a virologist, you know nothing about epidemics, pandemics, nothing. If you don't shut up and just keep your mouth shut and just accept what we tell you, if you don't, we're going to land you or rather brand you some kind of a tinfoil coot and cut you off from everything you used to enjoy called social media. Do I make myself clear? That's exactly what happened. That's exactly what happened. So let me ask you a question. How long are you going to put up with that? How long are you going to put up with that? How long are you going to be able to say, can I ask questions about about Ukraine? Can I ask questions about Israel and Palestine? Can I ask questions about Hamas and Hezbollah? Can I ask about Zelensky and should I ask about Putin? Can I ask about NATO? Can I ask, can I ask these questions? No. Because not only are you a conspiracy theorist, but now you're a Putin-loving, pro-Putin, Putin, Putin apologist, or you're an anti-Zionist, anti-Semite, anti-Israel, anti-Jewish, you're a pro-Hamas, you're a vile, uh, and you, do you see where we're going? So what this is doing is instead of people saying, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm commenting on Kate. I'm not talking about buildings. I'm not talking about Jews or Muslims or anything like that. I'm not talking about war, NATO, Victoria Nuland, Zelensky, nothing. I'm not talking about vaccines or viruses or masks or a six foot uh, shelter in place or whatever you want to call it. No, I'm talking about something even simpler. Whether this woman looks anything like Kate Middleton. And if anything, this woman looks younger than Kate Middleton. And I don't mean facelift younger. I mean decade. Oh, well, not decades, but significantly younger. Now, that's my opinion. Okay? And with my opinion comes my right to give my opinion. And I'm not an internet troll. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I'm a conspiracy analyst, to use the word of Gore Vidal. And you and I have had it with people telling us repeatedly that we can't even make an observation. We can't even not ask a question. It's one thing to say, you know, I think that that doesn't look like Kate and saying instead, you know, I think Kate was abducted by aliens and I think this is some type of a clone. Now, then we're getting into something which if, if that's your opinion, I think you should still be able to say that. But that's different than you saying, I don't think that looks like Kate. I don't think this story about COVID makes sense. I don't think the explanation about really anything about 9-11 or Vietnam or Watergate or who killed JFK, I don't really think any of these stories make sense. I think I'm going to reject them. That's your right. Don't ever forget that. Don't give in. Don't just roll over. They're trying to crush you, this time with something that is so obvious, your observation. And if you have to be an expert, why do they ask citizens to come into police lineups, look at photo packs, ask you in court, do you see the person in court today? Well, I'm not an expert. What? I'm not an expert. I don't know. I'm not an expert in identification. Excuse me? Is this the person who robbed you? I don't know. I'm a, I'm not an expert. They told me I had to be an expert to say that this person didn't look like Kate. You see what they're doing? You see what's happening? 
and they're having their their band of speaking about trolls, they're their media trolls, they're the sock puppet trolls who swarm around you and call you crazy. And what they do is, in the meantime, they actually encourage more people to dispute the facts of the case. A conspiracy theory, a conspiracy hypothetical, a conspiracy hypothesis is completely different than an observation as to if something looks right or wrong to you. That's all. That's all. Don't fall for this. Don't fall for this. And I'm going to say it again. The picture. I don't know if this picture, what the story of this sun picture is. I have no idea. That ain't Kate. That's all I know. That doesn't mean where Kate is, what's happened to Kate, what the motivation behind this is, who was responsible... Notice how also she's such she's such a prolific photoshopper. Oh, not only does she show, photoshop this, she's done others as well. Oh, she's something. Boy, that's her hobby. The stories get more preposterous so that you accept them and that you tolerate them. Okay? Remember, you don't have to ask permission to think. Now, please subscribe to the channel. Please like what we're doing. And please, I ask you, dear friends, I ask you, I ask you more than anything else, I ask you please to comment as you see fit.